in this video we will be solving part c of question number 4.4 so let's begin now use the red ink to sketch in interference curve along which u of x comma y is equal to 10 thus will have convex preferences till now we have drawn this graph where on the x axis you have good x and on the y axis you have good y this vertical line represents the line having the equation of x is equal to 10 and this horizontal line represents the equation of 2y is equal to 10. In the previous part we learned that when your x is equal to 10 and 2y is less than 10 then the utility function takes the value of 10 which is nothing but x as x is taking the value of 10 and when x was less than 10 and 2y is equal to 10 then also utility function took the value of 10 and since 10 is equal to 2y so this would be your utility function is basically taking the value of 2y now let's use this information to draw the indifference curve let's first begin with this case when your x is equal to 10 so which is this particular line and we have to find the region corresponding to this inequality. Note that the entire area below the blue line corresponds to 2y less than 10. The line corresponds to 2y is equal to 10. And the entire area this corresponds to 2y greater than 10. So we have to find that area where x is equal to 10 and 2y is less than 10. So if 2y is less than 10 then that area would be this that is below the line. So let's erase this area but note that along the entire region your x, x can take any value but we want that value of x where x is equal to 10 which is only this segment of the line that is from here till here. Now let's apply the same methodology to find the region corresponding to this condition. Let me erase everything else for you. Note that this region corresponds to all those values where your x is less than 10. And the region to the right of this line corresponds to all those values where your x is more than 10. So now your graph is divided into three parts which is this region, this region and the third region is this your blue line. Firstly we have to choose that area where your x is less than 10 so this would be your this region so let's erase everything else so that we are not confused now let's look what happens to the left of this line we are ignoring everything to the right of the line because we are only concerned to the region that is to the left of this vertical line the second condition says that your 2y should be equal to 10 which is your this particular line that is in the entire region the only region of our concern is this segment of the horizontal line so when your x is less than 10 and 2y is equal to 10 then this corresponds to this segment of the horizontal line and combining both the cases we are able to get the desired indifference curve which is nothing but the inverted L or your red line. So this red shape indifference graph corresponds to the utility function of max of x comma 2y where the consumer is getting the utility of 10. So be very careful while drawing such graphs. So your final graph would look like this. Only this red inverted L shaped graph. Now let's move on to the next sub part of this question which says does Phil have convex preferences? Now what do you mean by convex preferences? We say that preferences are convex if there exist two consumption bundle x1 x2 and y1 y2 and the consumer is indifferent between them then the combination bundle or the weighted average bundle which is denoted by tx1 plus 1 minus ty1 comma tx2 plus 1 minus ty2 is at least as good as the consumption bundle x1 x2 such that your t is between 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 are both included. In simple terms convexity says that consumer prefers averages to the extremes so if the consumer is indifferent between x and y then she prefers the weighted average tx plus 1 minus ty to either x or y. Now I know that this definition might seem a bit complex at first so what I have done is I have broken down the definition into three simple steps. Let's see what those steps are. The first step of the definition corresponds to this segment of the definition where you have to choose any two consumption bundles such that the consumer is indifferent between them. The second step is to calculate 
the combination bundle or the weighted average bundle which is calculated using this formula for different values of t and such that your t is between 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 are both included lastly your final step corresponds to this symbol that is your weak preference with that means if the weighted average bundle is weakly preferred to the extreme bundles where the consumption bundle x and consumption bundle y are considered to be your extreme bundles for all values of t then the preferences are convex so let's apply all these steps one by one to the given question i have zoomed out the graphs for your ease so that we can easily visualize if the preferences are convex or not so your first step says to choose any two consumption bundles such that the consumer is indifferent between them now note that for the consumer to be indifferent between the two consumption bundle those two consumption bundle has to be on your indifference curve so suppose these green dots represent your these two consumption bundle that is suppose this would be a consumption bundle x1 x2 and this is your consumption bundle y1 y2 let's move on to the next step which says calculate the combination bundle or weighted average bundle for different values of t i have explained in very much detail how to calculate the combination bundle or the weighted average bundle for different values of t in your previous chapter so in case you're confused and don't recall how to calculate the weighted average bundles you can always refer to those previous videos so here i would be directly drawing the combination bundle for different values of t which would be nothing but a straight line joining these two consumption bundle lying on the indifference curve. So since t is between 0 and 1 there would be t can take infinite values as t is a real number thus there would be infinite weighted average bundle between the two extreme bundles. So if you try and plot multiple weighted average bundle they would eventually trace out to this line. Now the third step says if the weighted average bundle is weakly preferred to the extreme bundles for all values of t then the preferences are convex suppose i choose this weighted average bundle and try and draw the indifference curve passing through this weighted average bundle which would look like this purple indifference curve and since the preferences are increasing in this direction Hence, the red indifference curve is giving the higher level of satisfaction to the consumer as compared to the purple indifference curve. Thus, if the consumer is choosing to consume a weighted average bundle, then he is reducing his utility level. Thus, he will never prefer this consumption bundle. Also, note that the step 3 focuses on for all values of t. Here, I am able to find a single value of t for which the statement is not holding true. That is, I am able to find one such consumption bundle where my weighted average bundle is not weakly preferred to your extreme bundles. Hence, I am easily able to say that the preferences are not convex. What I have done here is... I have just found one example such that my statement is not holding true. And since the question talks about for all values of t, then only it says the preferences are convex. But I am able to find one such value of t where my weighted average bundle is not weakly preferred to your extreme bundle. Hence, my preferences will also be not convex. So the answer to this question is no, the preferences are not convex so that was all for this question